Hi, I'm Laura Heritage. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement an API leveraging the Akana platform's orchestration capabilities. To begin with, let's create the API. Click on this plus button, select Add API. We're going to give the API a name, and we are building a RESTful API, just so you know. Then click over on the Advanced Options and select Orchestration. Click Save. Now we're going to design our API interface. We're going to click on Add Resource. I'm going to define the Accounts resource and I'm going to select Get and Post for the verbs. We can do more API design, filling out the documentation, required parameters, media types, models, and so forth. But this is all we need for now to, in, order, in order to start our implementation with the orchestration. So let's click Save. You can always come back and redesign your API interface. Now we're going to take a look down here under implementations. The Akana platform generates this live implementation for you out of the box. You can delete it and recreate it. You can create new um, uh, additional implementations, for example, a sandbox implementation. But we're going to work with this one, so click on Live. It's going to tell you information about the implementation, where it's deployed at, what zones. This one's deployed in our Akana West zone and in our Akana East zone. But the thing that we want to really look at is the resources down here and how we implement them. Here's our accounts resource, the get, and we're going to work with that one. So you can see here under actions, click on the caret, and that'll say bring up edit process. So edit the process. That brings up our process editor. We have a full featured uh, micro orchestration process editor with a lot of different capabilities to help you with orchestration and mediation and transformation, ranging from things like FreeMarker to XSLT transformations. We have split and join capabilities. This is really important when you're calling out to several different APIs to aggregate the data. You don't want to do that serially. You want to be able to do that in a multi-threaded fashion, calling out and rejoining. So lots of different capabilities. What we're going to do today is we're going to leverage the insert content activity. This is a, a very nice activity to have to basically just insert some content very rapidly. And you're going to see it. So what I did is select static content, give it a content type. This is going to be the content type of the what I'm going to be pasting. And I'm going to paste in my JSON, which represents an account. Click Finish. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to wire in that activity. So I'm going to grab hold. Sometimes it's kind of tricky, but <laughs> I'll grab it. There we go. Wire that in. And then what's very important is clicking this little save down here. This really saves it to the process and saves the implementation. So clicking save. Now that that is saved, click on the finish button. That brings us back to um, the, the particular live implementation page. We want to go back to implementations. Here is if we wanted to create another implementation, this is where you can click add. So for example, if you want to add a, a sandbox, you can start doing that as well. But what we want to do is test that orchestration we did. So let's click on documents. This brings up the Swagger style documents that has the inline testing. And then we will click invoke. And there you have it. There is the content that we pasted in, in our static content node. So we very quickly designed an API and, and implemented the API via an orchestration. So this is great when you are creating uh, any type of orchestration, micro orchestrations. Like I said before, if you're calling out to several different APIs and, and merging them, if you need to do some massaging of data through mediation or do some transformation, 
our process editor makes it very easy to do that within a matter of minutes and you have a running API. Thank you.